What's up guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We're back at you again. We got another video, Wallace Farm and Sawmill. And today guys, I don't know if you've been looking, but in the background of the past couple videos, there's been some little critters running around. <laughs> we gotta fix that. I got chickens. I got, let's see, like six, four, six, seven. seven. Six or seven chickens <laughs> running around here. Seven, One of them sitting on some <laughs> eggs right now. And, uh, we got a little homestead thing going on here. We, we farm and do all that too, you know. That's the whole farm and sawmill, the farm <laughs> part. But like, we gotta get the chicken situation resolved because I had brought them, we moved from one location to another location where we are now, and I just haven't fixed the chicken pens up, guys. I haven't done, I got a little mobile pen, but uh, there's some running down the road. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. There's three of them down the road down there right now. Anyway, that's the farm going on the back part of our farm back there. So we got to get this fixed. So hang out with us and let's build a chicken pen. All right, guys. So I got two eastern red cedar logs here that uh they look like they've been through a little burn there well they have but it's only exterior damage they're not burned all the way through they got a little got a little hot there caught a little fire for a little bit but they're uh they're all solid on the inside now what i hear is is uh eastern red cedar makes a pretty good post especially if you get rid of all your sap wood and you got all the red interior wood so my idea is instead of buying any kind of treated post i'm gonna use that eastern red cedar from a post and I'm going to maybe burn the bottoms. I hear that helps uh, helps lock out the moisture as well. So let's give that a go. I had to get rid of that piece. It was in the way. That's ugly stuff to deal with right there. It's all that burnt. I don't even know what to call it, but it's nasty.
Well, after splitting that one down, we ended up with four posts, four by fours that uh, old smoldered off burnt part there. Makes a mess of your hands for dag gum, sure. But we still got solid posts out of there. They should last. No heart in them. So, well, I say no heart. <laughs> I meant no.
Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I started out with the bottom board flat. This is what we call lap board side. And now I don't have a, a lap board attachment that V's this, not V's it, but well, yeah, rather tapers this out. I don't have that. And I'm just doing old school side and just like I did on my house uh, and like they've done for many years. But you put your first board on flat, get it level. And then you come down off of your first board, pick what you want. Some people like to go one inch, inch and a half. I personally find that if you go too little here using green wood, what's gonna happen is your end will end up wherever you put your nail screw or whatever will bust out. So I do a full two inch. So I'll mark two inches here. I'll go down here, do the exact same thing, mark two inches, okay? Next thing we do is we're gonna pick this board up and put the bottom here, we'll screw it here and here. We may even slip a third one in the middle. Okay, you can make you a block to help hold this. Luckily, I have Britt to help me, so we just hold them together and line them up. I'm on my mark. I'll put my arm against it here. Now I'm going to go relieve Brittany from holding hers against hers. And basically, we're going to rinse and repeat to the top there. And just like that, that is one wall complete. I've got a support here in the front and the back. Reason being, that's just to help support that wall. Tomorrow I'll be putting two more posts in here. That's where the doorway will go. I'll step around to the side so you can see. The back side of the wall, I have to rip a little piece for that last section there. Cut that post off, cut that post off. And then we're gonna do the gable frame like bloop, over the top. So, it's just a uh, very beginning. I got the four posts cut, I got the four posts in the ground, and I got one wall set and some supports on here. That's uh, pretty much all we're gonna get done for today. But I think it looks really good. I know what you're thinking. You're building with green lumber. Been there, done that, <laughs> here we go again. It works fine, guys. This, uh lap side and his lap two inches it will shrink it may crack or pop here or there you'll see the results i'll post it a couple months from now but i just want you guys to know that it's entirely possible to work with green lumber if you know what you're doing and how you're doing it and you prepare for the drying process i literally built a house and sided it with green lumber been living there nearly a year so just want you to have that info guys i'll show you some tips and tricks on using it as we build this and uh of course dry lumber is always better but i never think ahead too far i want to do it now <laughs> i know we always want to do something right now we're that uh instant gratification <laughs> generation that's not a good thing so with the sawmill in the background that's helped us build all this and do all this stuff guys i want to go ahead and close this one out this is going to be a several part video i don't know if we'll have two three probably three parts probably three parts i can get you this chicken pen finished it's gonna be maybe next weekend probably a seven day process after work in work between work <laughs> getting this thing done i'll probably do a wall a day for the next couple days then get some doors hung build the roof run over to the local metal supplier pick up some tin and uh then we got to build the fence out back. So I keep adding to the list and I'm thinking it's going to take a while, but it, it, it'll it come together. But guys, if you want to see more of this build, you want to see more of a sawing, keep a watch out here. But also, Britt's got the Patreon out there that we post content on fairly daily. We're, we're, we're getting a little behind, but we're, <laughs> we're trying, going through the holidays right holidays now. Holidays have been crazy, so. So until next time, guys, check the description below. T-shirt sales. P.O. Box, fan mail, send us something cool. We'd appreciate it. We love our uh, all of our fans. 
love all our patrons till next time guys see ya bam